Hey everyone, it's me, Steph, the writer of this blog. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about employment opportunities and just stuff in general about that. Um, I am now 27 years old and I have a master's degree in my field. I actually have a master's degree in library science, focus in archival studies. Um, all things considered, I've been a phenomenal academic. That's the one thing in my life that I've been very good at. And nobody can tell me that I'm not a good academic because I'm very smart. I'm a great student. But uh, I currently do not have a job in my field. And part of that is it's 2016. People in my age group uh, are frequently forced to work part-time or not at all because nobody's retiring. And so we're kind of stuck in this limbo period. Uh, but it's even harder because I work in a very narrow, specific field of archiving. And um, it's really made even harder by the fact that I am autistic. I was diagnosed with Asperger's in 2009, um, so that was seven years ago now. And I've been trying to get a job uh, like for a very long time, and I've been working very hard um, in doing that. I've been doing a lot of volunteer opportunities in my field. Uh, I've been uh, otherwise going out of my way to uh, apply for things, and people haven't been taking me, and I often wonder if I'm doing something wrong. Part of it is there's very few jobs, and so there's a lot of candidates, so I know I'm not obviously going to be, I'm gonna, not going to get every single job I apply for. That's a given, but um, I, uh, I, I find that um, on occasions, I'll reach the interview stage, and I'll feel like I did wonderfully in the interview. And then I'll be cut there, or I won't hear back for months, and have to contact the people again, and then they'll say, oh no, we, we, we decided we're not going to talk to you at all. And it's very frustrating, and I often wonder if they do research on me, and they find out that I'm a self-advocate, um, that I'm an autism self-advocate, because I am, I actually advocate for myself um, and for other people on the spectrum like me, um, who need, uh, you know, better quality of life, who deserve better quality of life in a world that's not made for us. And I, uh, I find that I end up feeling, um, it's a very difficult feeling to describe because I intellectually know that I am deserving of a job just like any other human being. I deserve life, I deserve, you know, quality of life, I deserve money, I deserve to be able to pay off my student loans all by myself, and yet uh, I wonder if employers see and they go, oh, she's autistic, she must be worthless, and, sorry, I... I genuinely fear that I am seen as not good enough just because of something in my brain and not me. Uh, I have all these amazing work qualities. I'm extremely creative and innovative. I'm phenomenally focused. I've never had, every employer I've ever had in the past has been amazed at how much stuff I can get done with the level of accuracy that I get done in such a short amount of time. Uh, I'm, I know I'm a good archivist. I have a phenomenal historical background and like, and I'm very, I'm always willing to try new things, to bring new ideas into the field and all of these things. But I, I'm scared people don't see that. I'm scared. They just see, <sighs> I'm scared that they just see autism and they go, she's not good enough for us. She's not what we want she's probably not like a real human being and it's it's kind of troubling because if you look I if you look at my resume it's clear that I'm qualified and I have all of these I've done all these things but I have this fear that people see that I'm you know, technically disabled, and they just think, no, we don't want that. <sighs> and they just feel very... Like, I don't personally feel inadequate, but I feel like the world thinks I'm inadequate. And it really hurts, because... 
because I know I'm not. I know that I'm capable. And I do my level best to show every day that I am perfectly capable of existing in this world. I'm perfectly deserving of existing in this world. And yet nothing ever seems to happen for me. Um, I, um, I live in the greater New York City area. I live in New Jersey. And um, there's a lot of museums here. And so I check them all the time to see if they're hiring. And uh, I, I keep going. Um, so if you, if you see any archival openings um, or even museum library openings, please don't hesitate to send them to me. I will apply because... Um, it's easiest if it's in the New York area because New York City area because I'm really poor and I can't move out right now. Um, I'd have to save up for a while before I moved out. So, um, if you find anything, please feel free to put in a good word um, or just pass it along to me, and I'll um, I'll apply. I no guarantees that I'll get it, obviously, but you know it's worth a shot, right? Uh, so, sorry for being very upset and kind of ranting about this. I just kind of had to get it out of my system. Uh, so, yeah, um, autistic people deserve jobs. They're super capable of doing the jobs that you assign to them. They will be the best employees you have in terms of productivity. Um, so, just please consider hiring us. We are just as capable as anyone else of doing the job. Uh, so with that, uh, thank you. Have a nice one.